Hey everyone, how are you today? Mike the Handy Homeowner here. We've got a John Deere L120 tractor, spring maintenance time. Today we're gonna do the valve clearance adjustment and uh, make sure that's within spec. So let me show you how that's done. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do, of course, is open up the hood. And you'll have, on this model, you'll have an Intec motor. This is an Intec 20 horsepower V-twin. Twin means two cylinders. So you're gonna have two valve covers, one on each side. You're gonna wanna take those four bolts off from the corners with a 3 8 inch socket. I've got a swivel and an extension just so I can get in there real easy. These are already a little bit loose. I'm just going to put them here on the footrest of the mower. They don't take much to get loose. They're probably not very tight. You see I only have a quarter inch ratchet here. You don't need a whole lot of force to loosen or tighten them at the end. You want to get them snug down pretty good, but it doesn't have to be super tight. So definitely don't need a real big wrench. I don't know if you can see this last one here. Tucked behind there. Okay. okay, now when you pull this off, you're going to want a paper towel or two handy because it's probably going to leak a little bit of oil. And this side has the tube up to the fuel pump, so pull that off, clean that up a little bit. Go ahead and wipe all that oil out of there. Now you will need quite possibly it's not a definite you could probably get away with using the old gasket in this case this gasket's in great shape honestly it came off really perfectly but if you tear it and you don't have RTV to use well let me give you the part number for the gasket the replacement part number for the gasket is Stens part number is 475-452 475-452 valve cover gasket next thing you're going to want to do is put your hand up here on the top of the motor and rotate the engine until the valves move and you'll see one of them compress the spring then the other one's going to be loose because they can't both be open at the same time so a lot of people say you got to take the spark plug out and check for top dead center. Well, that's if you want to do both the same position without moving the motor again. Honestly, you just do it this way. Change one at a time. All right, guys. So the valve clearance on an Intec 20 horse is between five and seven thousandths of an inch. So we're going to use a feeler gauge set here and I have a video on how to modify this and we're going to use the six thousandths because it's right about in the middle huh so let's see what we've got we put it in there I wonder if we could get seven let's see let's see what it's really at just for fun huh all right so we're seven there's seven. Oh, that's in there. Let's go with eight. That fits. Nine. Oh yeah. Ten thousandths. Eleven. Starting to get a little snug. Twelve. Holy cow. Let's go skip to fourteen. What do you think? Oh, fourteen gets in there. 15 okay 15 feels about tight you know nice and snug but what we really want is for six thousands to be that way so 
we're going to have to adjust that. So what we're going to do is take a 13 millimeter wrench and loosen up that outer nut. All right, so I'm going to use this hose here to hold my feeler gauge in place while I tighten down this Torx bit. And that feels a little tight. So we're going to have to loosen that up just a little bit again. There you go. That's pretty, pretty good. It's snug, but not tight. So now I'm going to tighten down that, that nut again. And you might have to play with this a little bit and go back and forth because once you tighten it, it might adjust that inner screw that you loosened or tightened with the Torx bit. So after you get it kind of snug down, check it again. And that feels pretty good. It's, it's getting in there, but it's definitely not any slop. So that's going to be good. Now we're going to do the other valve. So all we're going to do again is reach up here. Turn the motor until the other valve compresses. Or valve spring, I should say. Okay, and now this one's going to be loose. So, six thousandths again. And this one actually feels pretty good, I'll be honest. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This one's probably right about the... It's a little tight on six. I'm sure on five it's actually good. Just for fun, let's just see. Find our five thousandths. All right. So the spec is between five and seven. So let's see, you know, what five... It's it's good on five and six does go in as well. I'm gonna leave this one alone believe it or not So we're done on this side So like I said this gasket turned out to be really fine when it came off it came off real clean I'm just gonna clean up that mating surface a little bit And I'm gonna save that gasket for another day the new one You could use some RTV if you choose, I'm just going to reuse that old gasket. All right, we're going to hook that hose up on the top. All right, and we're going to put our bolts back in. And we want to start these by hand just in case. They get cross-threaded. You want to feel that, okay? Oops, sorry, bumping the camera with my hat. Yeah, you want to feel them start threading in. If you were to just start wrenching on them with the ratchet, you very likely could cross-thread them, and then you've got some problems. I'm gonna now we're not gonna just tighten the one down all the way we're just gonna snug it down a little bit we'll just go in around in a circle I'm sure it won't really matter too much cross to this side now I'm not tightening them yet I'm just getting them snug just just a little bit snug so I don't warp anything it may not matter much on this. I don't know. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Okay, now that the rest are snug down, I'm going to go ahead and give that one a little extra. Come across here. Give it a little extra. A little extra. And a little extra. And that's that. Okay, now. 
it is the same procedure on the other side i'm going to go ahead and do it on video in case there's any other weird problems that come up maybe we can see those and you know you'll get to see it but uh really it's it's that simple the hardest part is getting the feeler gauge in there while you're actually tightening down that torque screw and then adjusting the nut over it and it holding its position so you almost need three hands but really it's uh not a hard thing to do save you a bunch of money versus taking this thing to a shop you know those small engine guys they'll do it for you they're gonna charge you so you can do it yourself so let's do that other side while while i've got you here this side the valve cover has some stamping in it and it's facing up and it's gonna be helpful to put that back facing up when we're done so that if we ever needed some information for the engine it's right there a lot of people put that upside down and then they can't figure out where the stamping is with the engine information oops might not need that swivel on this side i don't know we're just going to leave it on since it's on all right so so far just one extra thing to mention let's see what happens when we get this off let me grab some paper towels before i pull that off in case there's any oil in there okay we don't need to make it a mess have it burning off later the last one here Okay, you ready? Yep, very little oil in there, but some. This gasket came off intact completely as well, so that's good news for me, because like I said, I'm just gonna reuse these things. They weren't leaking anyway. So I'm gonna just wipe them up, wipe up the oil that's in there and then clean off that mating surface real good let's get another paper towel here you don't want to get the gunk and junk in there from what you're wiping off the edges all right so be careful some of these edges might be sharp too around here so don't slice yourself open okay so we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side, okay? We're gonna rotate the engine till one of the valves is compressed. And then the other one will be ready for adjustment. Same deal between five and seven thousandths. So we're gonna use six, and this one's way off. So, Let's loosen that outer nut. That, okay. Bust that loose and it's not on there too tight. Okay. Just kind of a little, a little bit of oomph to get in there. Now let's see if we can do that with this one this time. Okay. So if you can't see let me show. so we're gonna tighten that put that feeler gauge in there tighten it down till it starts to get a little snug on it okay you want to be able to move it okay let's see if we can get that tight without making the adjustment change Oh yeah, that feels good. Okay, that, see that worked out real well. Now, like I said, you might tighten that outer nut and then the whole thing kind of changes. Just back it off again and do it again. It's going in and out snugly. I'm gonna rotate the engine to get the other valve compressed, or valve spring compressed, I keep saying that. Okay, that gives us some slop on this one. 
and that's really nice and loose so no real big surprises but it's interesting that the other side had uh, one valve that was adjusted fine i might have to check that again <laughs> Just... all right so when i get our feeler gauge put it in there it changes quick guys when you're turning this screw it uh it doesn't take much to get it to, to change so Wiggling that around while tightening that up. Right about there feels right. I should have left this on, but that's okay. Let me do that again. We're going to back it off, tighten it up. You can feel the tension start. Yeah, there we go. And since I'm using six, not five, I can get it pretty snug, and that should be okay. I'm pretty tight on that feeler gauge, because we can go all the way to five. Okay, give that just a little extra, and let's see if it held its... Yeah, yeah, we're good. Six feels pretty, pretty normal, kind of slides in and out. It might even be closer to seven right now, but that's fine, because what's the spec? The spec is between five and seven, so we're good. All right, so same deal for me, guys. I'm gonna reuse these gaskets because they weren't leaking, and they're actually in pretty decent shape here. And they came off in one piece, so I'm just gonna put that back on. Remember the stamping? We're gonna put it at the top. Let's see if I can get it on there. Yep. And then. Same as before, always start your threads by hand, please. Don't want to cross thread a bolt. And that one, see, that one felt a little weird. So let me back off and start again. And uh, well, that one doesn't want to even go in. What's the deal? All righty. And this last one, this cable is almost in the way. I'm just gonna get that there. There we go. All right, now we're gonna tighten these up, just like on the other side. My hands are greasy, so I can't, they're oily, I can't really. Okay, just get it started and snug down gently. And this is my rule of thumb for pretty much anything I'm tightening guys if there's more than one screw um, I don't just go ahead and crank down on it the first time I'll snug it up and then go back and forth so since we have four that's what we're gonna do Like I said before, guys, please leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Anything uh, you saw I'm doing wrong. Now that we got all the other three down, we're going to tighten them up. I've only got a quarter inch ratchet here, so don't need too much force. They weren't that tight to begin with, so we're just getting them snugged up good. And there you go. Guys, that's all there is to that. It is not hard you can do it save yourself a good bunch of money um let's see how it starts up now this thing always was just a little bit on the slow to start side let's see what happens choke on throttle up gracious i'd say it works so again thanks for watching i hope this helps you and we'll see you in the next video